Bye. Astronaut Scott Kelly says it was easier to adjust to life in space for nearly a year than to get used to gravity again back on Earth. He lived on the International Space Station for 340 days. NASA continues testing him to learn how extended space travel impacts the human body. Kelly posted a Twitter video Monday writing, Gravity gets you down. He spoke with Manuel Borges, who is inside the Johnson Space Center in Houston. Manuel, good morning. Good morning. This is where Scott Kelly trained for that year in space. It is a mock up of the International Space Station. It's also where we spoke with him about the mission and how he's feeling one week after his return to Earth. You seem to be walking a, a little funny. That's the effects of this, right? Yeah, my legs are not feeling good. Astronaut Scott Kelly is still getting used to walking on Earth again. The soreness is just one of the effects of spending nearly a year in zero gravity. My legs are a little swollen still from the, you know, all the fluid that shifts up to our heads and uh, in space gets now pushed back down into my legs. Your body's been through some stuff. Yeah, yeah. And it's currently still Going I'll, I'll show it. you my legs later when the cameras get turned off. Okay. <laughs> but just so the viewers know, you're yeah. just, it's just slow, swollen as all that fluid goes yeah. back, back down there. Yeah. What was the toughest part about it? Yeah, I think it's, you know, uh, for me, it's Tell being me away you know, from Scott your Kelly loved ones, your, your friends, your family. A year is not short, but it was very rewarding. It was uh, enjoyable. It was something that... Uh, I feel privileged to having got to do. NASA is testing the effects of long duration space travel for a future mission to Mars. And Kelly came with a huge bonus, an identical twin, astronaut Mark Kelly, who could be studied on Earth to highlight how the time and space impacted Scott. I do clearly recognize that there's a difference between 159 days, which is my previous flight, and this right. experience at 340. So, you know, I'm pretty sure they're going to see differences between, you know, me in space for that long and him on Earth without, without question. <laughs> Ma'am, they are delicious. But while he wasn't busy with more than 400 experiments, Kelly had fun. I think it's part of our job, our responsibility to do that as the, you know, the public face of, of NASA. You know, anything we can do to get them more excited about studying science, math, engineering, Right. Technology is uh, something we should be doing. Kelly posted more than 700 stunning images on social media. The view struck him too. Yeah, I'm normally like the more the like the tough fighter pilot kind of guy, but yeah. not after spending a year in space. I think I'm a little bit more compassionate now. So it changed you. I think it does. I think it does change you when you spend all this time. Uh, removed and, and detached from Earth, I and mean, you follow what's going on on Earth, and you know mostly what the news reports is is not good stuff. You look down we, below, we should, and yeah, we should be doing better. We can do better. Got this great planet down there. Let's take care of it, and let's do a better job. And after 340 days in space, Kelly told us one thing he is thoroughly enjoying now is being able to sit down for dinner without his fork or his glass floating away. Nora? <laughs> Manuel, great interview. It really uh, is incredible. The little things, huh? The little things and how much we'll learn yeah. from what he has done in space. It's Indeed. terrific. I like what he said about the planet. We need more compassion. We got a good thing going down here. Absolutely. Let's fix it.